What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Brand Partial Show. So let's talk about some of the top edge rushers in this draft. And I'll, I'll say this. You know, you look at the consensus rankings right now. Braylon Trice from Washington doesn't get enough credit. Braylon Trice, I think when it's all said and done, I think as we get cro- closer to the NFL draft, like say we're a month out, I think Braylon Trice could be a guy that could be the, is talked about as the second uh, overall edge rusher. You look at, to me, I think Dallas Turner is a little overhyped. I think... Uh, there's a few guys that are a little overhyped. I think Jared Verse is going to be right there. I think it'll be Verse and Braylon Trice are my two guys right now. I, th- I really like Braylon Tr- Trice's game. This guy, you watch some tape and you see, you know, this dude, you know, the power stands out, the ability to rush the passer, get off of blocks, rush from a two point stance. But this dude just like, he moves so well. And he just, you know, it's just quick. Uh, he's got quick, violent hands. Uh, he can just detach from blockers so easily. So I think Braylon Trice is certainly a guy to watch. Uh, has not been, you know, as dominant as I thought this year. But you look at his tape last year, and I think he he put so much, so many good things on tape this year that I just think that he already has a skill set uh, that is worthy. Uh, to be a top five pick in next year's draft, uh, most likely, you know, top ten pick, top five pick. I think him and Jared Verse are going to be the two are going to be the two guys battling for that top spot, uh, the top edge rushers. Uh, but yeah, Jared Verse, you know, Jared Verse hasn't been overly dominant this year. Uh, but like Braylon tries, I think Verse put so much on tape last year, especially what he did early on uh, in the LSU game last year in 2022, and then you know some of the early games. Uh, yeah, Verse just a um, you know not as agile of a guy as I want him to be, but Verse just. He, he he's just a, he's a dominant player, good against the run. I mean, when he's one on one, you saw it this year against LSU, the sack he had when he was one on one against Will Campbell. Will Campbell, one of the best offensive tackles, he won that matchup, no problem. So yeah, verse, very good player, very talented guy, a uh, guy that's going to do a lot of good things in the National Football League. And um, you know, I think a lot of the discussion with Jared Verse will be similar to that the Aiden Hutchinson discussion. You know, I don't think. I think there'll be some people having the take of, you know, he's not going to be maybe a elite great player, but a good player. I th- I could see that with Jared Verse. Um, I think in the NFL he could just be a good fl- player, but also uh, I think this the skill set, the drive, uh, you know, some of the adversity coming from an FCS school. You know, I say adversity just because, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, naturally there's a chip on the shoulder just because they've been doubted a little bit. So. I think with all that going for Jared Verse and all the tools he has, uh, you know, physically, uh, mentally, competitiveness, I think it's all there for Jared Verse to become an elite uh, edge rusher in the National Football League. So Jared Verse, Braylon Trice, two of the guys I really like in this edge rushing class. There's that other edge rusher from uh, Washington. It's really good. Zion, uh, Tui, I can't have trouble saying his last name. He's another guy to watch. Uh, Jack Sawyer, JT Tui Molau. Talk about, you know, not to beat up on Tui Molau, but he's a, he's a very underrated. And I'm not just saying that because uh, he's an Ohio State guy. Uh, I really, you know, I've watched a lot of tape on Tui Molau, and he really lacks. He's a guy who, you know, he's the, he's an, it kind of is the, you get Will Anderson, or vibes of Will Anderson, excuse me. It's a lot of, a lot of his, it, a lot of his game is getting sacks because it's such good coverage. You know, the other, his other teammates are getting pressure and he just, um, you know, and the coverage is so good. He happy, he is the one, the guy that's getting the production cause he's hustling and, you know, can get off the block later, um, in, in the play. You know, not that, you know, Tui Molau, I think could be a solid NFL player. There was a reason he was one of the top recruits in high school. He's a phenomenal athlete for his size. Uh, but it, to me, He's not, to me, you watch him, and teams really, they don't double-team him, chip him. They're, they're really not overly concerned about his game. And, yeah, you watch it, and he just, he does not, you know, he had a great game against Penn State, but it wasn't, it wasn't a game where they, where Penn State was really scared of him. You know, he made some plays. He was a standout in that particular game, but Penn State was not was not like, oh crap, we got to figure out a way to block this guy. Oh crap, this guy is disrupting us on every play. The point I'm trying to make it was not Jalen Carter esque uh, 
last year where teams were just terrified of him. It was not an Adamic and Sue S. I know those guys are a, maybe, you know, very, you know, those guys might be, you know, complete exceptions. But when you're talking about, when you're talking about a guy that people are talking about, like when you're talking about Tui Moa, people are talking about in the light of maybe being the best edge rusher in this class. I think that that is just a that is that's way too far fetched. He is a talented player. Don't get me wrong; I think he could be a solid NFL player. But to say he's the number one edge rusher, top ten pick, some of the buzz that he's getting uh, that I've seen. You know, I think he is the consensus. What is he, number two, three player? I think that is way too high. But I am a fan of his, his teammate, Jack Sawyer. I do like Jack Sawyer. I think Sawyer is a good player. I think Sawyer has the versatility to be a rush linebacker. Shoot, I mean, with Sawyer's athleticism, this guy could probably play off the ball in the NFL. Uh, he's really strong, you know, not overly agile, not really um, – not the, not the most bendy guy. He cannot really, you know – does can't really uh you know win with you know bending getting around the edge but as a guy who very you know strong at the point of attack good against the run can get off of blocks you know all the elements to be a good solid player you kind of get vibes of you know maybe a maybe a lesser you know Nick Bosa but not as good of a pass rusher type of vibes maybe Max Crosby without the uh, relentless uh, you know, effort type of vibes, uh, kind of that, kind of what you get with Jack Sawyer. Not that, not that Sawyer isn't competitive, and he, not, but Max Crosby has a different level of competitiveness and, and relentlessness that you know is unmatched by many. So I think Sawyer's a really good football player. Uh, you know, both the Ohio State players, good, uh, solid edge rushers. I prefer Sawyer a little bit more, uh, but yeah, Tui Molawau, Tui Molawau, good solid player, even though he's not. Um, is elite and dominant as some people are, are discussing him as. Uh, but you had Dallas Turner. I think Dallas Turner, uh, you know, Turner was a guy who the more tape I watched of him, the more I started to like him. Uh, and I don't, uh, I don't love Dallas Turner, but I think he, I think he's a good player. Uh, to me, goes back to like what I said. I think this edge rushing class is really going to be anchored by. Um, this edge rushing class is really going to be anchored by Braylon Trice and um, uh, Jared Verse. So I think those two guys will really anchor uh, this edge rushing class. So I'm going to wrap with that, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this clip of the Brand Partial Show. Make sure to stay tuned for more episodes and clips from the show. Till next time, peace.